hey, it's live a life. So here we've got the iPhone 13 mini and this is the iPhone 12 mini. Spot the difference? Yeah, the camera shifts and it's gotten bigger quite a bit. The camera setup on the iPhone 13 is very similar to the setup on the iPhone 12. It's got 12 megapixel main and 12 megapixel ultra wide. That's it, plain and simple. Apple said they put a new sensor on the iPhone 13s. However, it's not particularly new. It's only new to the iPhone 13. Because what they actually did is putting the iPhone 12 Pro Max's main camera into the iPhone 13 and the 13 mini. While the sensor is still 12 megapixel, the pixel size is larger than the 12 at 1.7 micron, which should result in a better camera performance. So I took both phones out for a comparison to see how better the bigger sensor is. So without further ado, let's jump into the comparison. In this photo, both the iPhone 12 and the 13 look super similar. But if we take a closer look, we'll see a difference in this shadow area. The iPhone 12 did expose for a brighter shadow area. However, there are tons of noises to be seen. And on the iPhone 13, while it's a bit darker, there is considerably less noise and the details are more fine. Moving to the brighter part of the photo, the leaves on the iPhone 13 is a lot sharper and contains more details. The leaves on the iPhone 12 photos are soft and they are a lot mushier than the 13. This part is even more obvious. The iPhone 13 can maintain a lot more structure of the leaves and has a lot more contrast than the iPhone 12 does. In this photo, again, looking at the picture as a whole, it looks pretty much the same. But if you punch in, you'll see that the iPhone 13 is a lot cleaner. Take a look at this Indian head ginger. The details are a lot crispier here. And some lines on the iPhone 12 starts to get pixelated, while the lines on the 13 are still pretty decent. The red on the 13 has a lot more depth, which looks a lot more deep red, while the 12 leans more toward a magenta. And the color on the 13 is a lot more accurate. And look at that background for a sec. Due to the larger sensor of the iPhone 13, there is more natural background blur aka bokeh than it does on the iPhone 12. But it's just a tad bit more. The iPhone sensor is still pretty small. It will produce a massive background blur anyway. In this photo, we can see clearly that the contrast on the iPhone 13 is far superior to the iPhone 12, which makes the color look more punchy. However, the color on the iPhone 13 is a bit too vibrant than what it actually looks like. Here, the iPhone 13 did a really great job at capturing the details in the black area of the sign. The black on the 13 looks a lot deeper than it does on the 12, and also there is less noise. And that is the same case in this photo. The black on the 13 looks deeper. But as you zoom in, you see that there are some areas where the 13's photo has more noise than it does on the 12. But overall, the details on the iPhone 13 are still superior to the iPhone 12. This photo was shot on the ultra wide lens, and they both look pretty much the same. Either the exposure, white balance, or details. Even zooming into pixel peep doesn't show much of a difference. So does this mean the ultra wide remains the same? Not really. Here's another shot I took using the ultra wide lens. At first, they both look very similar. But take a look at this shadow part over here. You will see that the shadow on the iPhone 12 is pretty much crushed. And there's no detail to be seen at all. But on the iPhone 13, there are some details of the tree to be seen. But aside from that, there's not much of a difference. So basically a tiny bit upgrade on the dynamic range. There's no telephoto lens here on the iPhone 13 and the iPhone 12, but we can still zoom in up to 5 times, digitally of course. And the photo came out pretty decent for a digital zoom, even though both are zoomed in from a 12 megapixel sensor. The photo taken on the iPhone 13 looks like they has a bit more details than the 12, but not by much. It's probably because of the more contrast the iPhone 13 has that it makes it look like it has more details. For low light straight off the camera with the night mode off, 
The iPhone 12 look quite a lot brighter than the iPhone 13. Overall, it looks like the iPhone 12 is doing a better job. But as we zoomed in, we will see that the brightest part of the iPhone 12 are overexposed. While on the 13, the exposure to the bright area is still well maintained. And the color of the leaves on the 13 looks more true to life than the iPhone 12 does. On top of that, there is less noise on the 13 than it does on the 12 as well. But if we turn on the night mode, the two looks a lot similar than they were. The exposure looks very similar that even the bright area that was overexposed on the iPhone 12 is now properly exposed. The noise level is pretty similar as well, but the color is still different. The greens on the iPhone 13 is still deeper green than it is on a 12, but on the right side of the photo is quite different. There is a lot more noise on the iPhone 12 than it does on the 13, especially with the darker area. I would say the iPhone 13 did a really great job at keeping the noise down. However, if we zoom in even further, we will see that the noise reduction is a bit too extreme here. Sure, the iPhone 13 has a bit less noise, but the noise reduction also causes the details and the contrast to be reduced as well. For video, they both shoot up to 4K at 60 frames. Looking at both side by side, when zooms out, they both look very similar. But as we zoom in, we'll see that the iPhone 13 has more details and it's a tad bit sharper. The lines and the structures on the windows are well maintained here in the 13, while the 12, it's not that bad, but the lines on the windows are a bit blurred. And if we move down here, the difference is a lot more obvious. The rails of the train have far more details on the 13 than on the 12, and the sign down there is a lot more readable. And look at the line on the roof. There's essentially no line on the 12, while on the 13, almost every line is visible. When it came to stabilization, the iPhone 13 has sensor shift stabilization or IBIS, while the 12 has OIS. And the results are as expected. The video on the 13 is quite a bit more stabilized than on the 12. The steps are less obvious on the 13. But one thing that Apple didn't even bother to make an improvement is the lens flare. Like, it's still super visible on the 13. So that's about it. Overall, to me at least, the iPhone 12 Pro Max sensor on the iPhone 13 is definitely an upgrade. But not by much. The overall photos taken on the 13 has more contrasty look has quite a bit more details and the color is a bit more accurate. It's definitely a decent setup of camera. So what do you think? Do you think the iPhone 13's camera setup is a massive upgrade or do they just look the same? Leave your thoughts down below and like if you like the video, sub if you want to see more contents like this in the future. See you guys next time, stay safe.